Welcome everyone! Today we are going to build a laser trip wire. We will need the following. Some jumper wires, three 10K resistors, two photo resistors, a button, a buzzer, a laser, a breadboard, an Arduino, and a mirror. I've also used a separate breadboard for the laser detection circuit. This helped heaps to position the laser pointer on the photoresistor. First things first, put a lead from the 5 volt on the Arduino to the positive rail on the breadboard. Connect ground on the Arduino to the negative rail on the breadboard. I'm going to start with the laser detection section of the circuit. Grab two jumper wires at first. I have a red one and a yellow one. Place the two jumper wires into two separate terminal strips. Grab a photoresistor and connect it to the red lead and a terminal strip. Put the other photoresistor between a different terminal strip and the red lead. Connect a 10K resistor from the yellow lead to one of the photoresistors and the other 10K resistor between the other photoresistor and the yellow lead. Grab two more leads and connect them to each intersection of the photoresistors and 10K resistors. I used green and orange jumper wires. Connect the yellow lead to the negative of the breadboard and the red to the positive of the breadboard. Connect the orange to A0. The photoresistor connected to this will be the laser detector and the green to A1. The photoresistor connected to this one will be the ambient light detector. Let's do the buzzer section next. Place the buzzer anywhere on the breadboard. Connect a lead between the negative rail and the negative of the buzzer. Connect the positive end of the buzzer to pin 3 of the Arduino. Next up, we are going to make the button section. Place the button between two terminal strips. Make sure there is contact only when the button is pressed between the two strips. Place the last 10K resistor to one end of the button and a negative pin. I've used a jumper wire to connect it to the ground rail. Connect the other end of the button to the positive rail. Then connect the intersection of the buzzer and the resistor to pin 4 of the Arduino. Lastly, let's connect the laser to pin 2 and ground. I've used the pins on the Arduino for both of these. I've used a cheap laser that I've hacked by connecting crocodile clips to the spring and the casing with some velcro holding down the button. All done with the circuit, let's head over to the Arduino IDE. I've written a program to run the laser tripwire. The code and the schematics are available from the links in the description. I'm going to verify and upload the sketch and while I'm doing that, instead of showing you some code, let's have a look at the program flow diagram. It continuously checks to see whether the button is pressed. If it is pressed, we enter the setup mode. If pressed again, we enter armed mode. If we are in setup mode, it does the following. It outputs the values to a serial port. When the light on the photoresistor is bright enough, then pin 13 lights up. This feature allows one to aim the laser. In the armed mode, it does the following. Every three seconds, it reports via serial communications. It checks if the value from the photoresistor dips due to the laser being broken. And when the laser beam is broken, the trip mode is started. In trip mode, the trip wire has been tripped. It beeps three times and the data is sent to the serial port. Then returns to the armed mode. Setting up the laser was a bit of a hassle, but when I had it set up, it worked like a charm. In my next video, check out how I created an Arduino-based slider. Do you like this video? Please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see some more, please subscribe. See you in the next video.